I'm a neuroradiologist, uh, ex neurosurgeon, and a CT guy. And somebody says that I'm a fanatic CT guy, which I disagree that I'm an enthusiastic CT guy. This is my disclosures, and uh, I worked in the field of city development since 1975. And the last 32 years, I worked with Toshiba engineer to produce many uh, city prototypes. Every innovation has the previous, uh, how to say, uh, pioneering works. And in case of uh, volume one, I can say that this is a TCT900S. It was initially designed as EMI7070 and handed over to Toshiba, and it coming into the market in the mid 80s. The characteristic is that it was the first scanner uh, which equipped with large bore slip ring, so it can allow us to uh, use the continuous rotations. And this is my early works of city subtractions, and you can see that uh, clearly uh, the uh, left meningeal component as well as uh, brain uh, service vein drainage by the use of subtractions. Look, look at the date of the scan. It is uh, January 9th of 1987. So 30 years ago, we already had these uh, types of applications. But what was interesting is that at that time, nobody cares. Radiologist does not interested in this subject because it was the uh, beginning of the MRI era, so very few people care about the CT. Another example, you can clearly see each and every branches of uh, ophthalmic artery, and uh, let me point out that anterior and posterior ethmoidal artery is impossible to detect even with the conventional DSA. Again, this was uh, 1987. The only limitation was the slice thickness is limited to 10 millimeter. And another challenge is the dynamic scan of any part of the body. So this is one of the examples of the dynamic scanning of the respira respiratory motion. And this clearly shows the pulmonary adhesion yeah. And also 900S has became a, had became a platform of early helical uh, development. And this is uh, add-on homemade systems of helical scan. Uh, it was made in 1987. And this was a very first, um, let me say, world first helical 3D CTA obtained by these primitive systems. Uh, by the way, Toshiba is holding the patent of uh, helical scanning. And after the invention of helical scanning, we have to uh, decide which way to go next, speed or coverage. Uh, if you go to speed, the multi-source city is a reasonable choice. Uh, is shown here. This is one of the drawings, uh, computer graphics of mid 90s, or coverage. And uh, we decided to take coverage because the piece by piece uh, way of uh, data uh, acquisition, which was taken by uh, helical scanning, is very unusual. Uh, not only for the medical, but also the uh, camera, photo cameras, or, and all other things. And uh, when the patient moves, the disaster came, as is shown here. If you have enough uh, coverage of detector, you can uh, image the entire organ at one rotation so that you could, uh, you could. Uh, detect the motions, and uh, it, now it will be a, a 4D data. I will skip these things. 
uh, because uh, Mr. Sugihara already shows that. And the project started at 1997. But the problem at that time was the bureaucrat plan was to use the flat panel as a detector. So this is a kind of, how to say, dynasty or something like that. And uh, I'm quite uh, completely against about that. Uh, the stopping power, dynamic range, linear, everything is inferior to that of CT detectors. And the scattered radiation is almost impossible to eliminate with aid of flood panels. So that we have to fight against the bureaucrat to change these uh, detectors. And this is uh, uh, prototype systems uh, taken in 2001. And uh, uh, this guy, uh, uh, Mr. Aradate, he was the chief engineer of, of this project. Early days data for the city data of Pig Hut. And uh, this is the third Spec3 prototype, which was installed in a hospital, and it was presented in RSNA 2007. And it has uh, awarded in, in many countries and many awards. And my favorite is the popular science best of what's new. So applications, uh, I want to skip this because, you know, uh, there are distinguished distinguished speakers are going to present this. But I only show, want to show you just two applications. This is a dynamic study of swallowing. And you can clearly see the dysphagia uh, by, caused by the left pharyngeal palsy. And you can, uh, quanti uh, you can estimate the degree of uh, uh, diseases quantitatively. And the second is the combined use of uh, a CT and angiography, especially if this is uh, useful in an interventional suite. I want to show you one of the examples. This is a case of spinal duralia of eight arteries fistula. Uh, in, despite this uh, very unstable situation of, of the patient, you can clearly see the pathology. And also, I want to emphasize that uh, the axial sections which is very difficult to obtain by means of conventional DSC systems could be displayed as here. The future, future could be in any directions, but I want to show you just one example. This is the, the new CT scanner which we are testing and I and Matthias are testing now. It is a 0 0.25 millimeter uh, detector system, ultra high resolution CT. The coverage is so far four centimeters, but it has the 0 0.20 high resolution, special resolution, uh, even with using the helical scanning. You can see the ossicles, the stapes, not only the stapes, but also the muscle and tendons of these ossicles and it will improve the evaluation of uh, coronary artery. And uh, uh, in the abdomen, you can clearly see the uh, enhanced layer uh, structure of the stomach as well as the lateral corner uh, fascia, which is almost impossible to detect without conventional CT. So these are the significant uh, characteristics of ADCT. And I want to say that the 4D CT, uh, no, I'm sorry, uh, area detector CT is definitely to be a platform of a future CT. Without uh, uh, this technology, there is no future of CT. This is my last slide, uh, which showing two dinosaur, no, not the dinosaur, but the two lab. And please note that uh, uh, this lab is eating, swallowing, and peristate, and uh, uh, breathing, and uh, heart beating. So there are many, many more things that we can 
do by means of CT. So I hope that uh, this uh, kind of uh, development should last uh, long, and uh, we can, if we could go to much further, I'm really happy. Thank you very much for your attention.